Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Fire Emblem. The Fire Sword. I mean, Blazing Blade. <laughs> That's what it's named. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, funny. Anyway. Fire Emblem. <laughs> Fire Sword. <laughs> Fire Sword. Anyway, <laughs> when we last left off, we did a lot of Lin's story. We met a couple new people. We found out that, um, well, we met Elliewood, who has the hero complex, I guess. Yeah. And we met Ninlian and her little brother, Niles. And we helped them get their lost ring. And we made, you know, story content. Story. All that fun stuff. Story. Uh, story. <laughs> Blue is back with us uh, for this Hello. episode, which we are so happy for um because you know another voice actor is always good um yeah what 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 else happened last episode hana uh we met wallace who was way over leveled for the rest of the party so he got to sit in the corner and do nothing for the entire fight okay story-wise what what happened story-wise uh, oh yes yeah, story-wise we found out that Lundgren has come up with a counter-argument to disperse among the populace, uh, saying that Lynn is not the heir to the... to Kaelin nobility. She is actually an imposter, imposter. And Kent and Sane are deserters. Which, you know, they kind of are. Kent did call himself Lynn's retainer last episode, which, uh, I, I don't know when the fuck that happened. I thought he was a knight of Lycia. He's got a crush. But that's a that's a development for later. But yes, we fought General Eagler and seized his castle. He doesn't believe the lies Lundgren is spreading. Even though he had to fight because someone was someone he was close to was being held hostage or whatever, probably. But uh we're we're almost there. We're practically on the doorstep of Castle Kalin, and now here we are on the cutscene where we left off. We can see that Marques Kalin is still clinging to life. Lundgren very badly wants him dead because he wants to take over the world or something. It's uh, never really elaborated what he's going to do with Kalin once he has it, but that's where we currently are. Anyway, we're also battling, and for some odd reason, Nintendo was like, let's make it foggy for this last battle. <laughs> so apparently this is Fire Emblem, the Fire Sword, times Silent Hill. Because it's foggy, as always. And I don't know, I guess fog... I guess fog makes the game intense. I don't know. Also, apparently Matthew just breaks the weather logic and thieves can <laughs> see in fog. So that was something new. I never knew yeah. that about the weapons triangle. And you know what? It probably doesn't even apply to the other fucking weapons triangle in the other games. And now we're here at the last battle. Hopefully to finish up Lynn's story. But enough talking. Let's let's get to the voice acting because we all know that's why you're all truly here. So listen to me. How are you feeling today, my dear brother? Alright, this will be Marques Kalin, currently a weak, poisoned old man. <coughs> oh, I'm green. I thought that said you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you fiend. <coughs> this is sick enough. Your granddaughter is dead by now, and soon you will join her. <coughs> Linda's. Why did this happen? I only wanted to see her once. Have you lost all hope? Has your life lost all meaning? Then hurry up and die, you miserable old dotard! You and your precious granddaughter are in my way! 
I curse your name. I despise you, my worthless wretch of a brother. What the fuck is up this guy's ass? Probably a broomstick. Hmm. We need to go yank it out of him. General Eagler has been defeated. Lynn and her band draw ever nearer to the castle cave-in. Within the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy, Lundgren, awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. Oh, he will. Don't you doubt it. We kind of need to stop him for the story to continue, so... Chapter 10. The Distant Plains. Woo! Lady Lindis, you should be able to see Castle Kaelin once we pass these mountains. Grandfather, I'll be with you soon. Everything rests on this next battle. This is Spain. <clears throat> How do you say his name? Lundgren. Lundgren will not be re <laughs> will not be receiving the reinforcements he expected. He'll move against us with everything he has soon. Let him come. Let them all come. I'll kill them all. I will not be turned away. I will see my grandfather. I've come too far to let anyone stand in my way. This is it, Jinx. This is our final test. My friends, for one last time, lend me your strength. Okay. Who we Oh. We get to take everybody into the into this battle. Yay! Oh, let me uh, prioritize who needs levels. Oh God! <laughs> Hana, we can, Hana, we get to take everyone. Also, Hana, who needs levels more? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's just me figuring out who I need to put at the front of the formation. Oh. Uh, Saint. Uh, yeah. No. Fuck. Yeah. I'm good at this game, I swear. S Sane needs levels. Now, are the levels going to carry over when we do Elliot, Elliewood's story? That, I don't remember, but I think so. And I think Niall's levels carry over to Ninian's, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, that's fucking weird. Well, leveling him would be uh, kind of pointless otherwise, so I hope that's the case. Who's in front? Oh, an ac uh, a lance user. A proper lance user. Yes, okay. Boop. Eh, uh, good enough. Seize the gate. There's a village. There's a, there's a couple shops. There's a house. There's another house. Okay. What's your reach? What's your reach? Aha! Then we'll start... We also met this kid, this is Niles with his amazing flute melody that he does. Okay. Okay. Alright. Everybody line up behind Florina. Oh, there's a house right here. Uh, oh no! Oh no! 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you both did it. Oh no, if I don't bring in the laundry now. Oh, hello. Are you a soldier? Sounds like a hard life, especially when it rains. Rain must make it difficult for you to move around. I used to ride horses when I was little. Oh, I remember how those horses disliked the rain. It's better to be on foot when it's wet. Nomadic horses are trained on the plains, so they're better with rain, but... Well, rain just seems to make it hard for everyone to get around. The weather around here can change in no time at all. I recommend just staying in one place until the rain clears up. Is it going to rain on this map? Yes. Fantastic. Did you just... What is Those it, clouds then? look bad. It's going to rain soon. Let's go, Jinx. We should press on while we're still able. This frickin' soldier just cock-blocked this mage. I wanted the mage to come and attack Lorena. Well, for that, you must die. You were going to die anyway, but now you get to die faster! Woo! <laughs> Oops. My mistake, putting a bunch of trees between Sane and where he needed to go. Chink. I just realized I sort of left Florina vulnerable to that to attack from that archer down there. Hopefully she can survive one round at her current level. Wallace, you guard this bridge. Make sure nobody gets past. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah. Six damage, that's nothing. Rookie numbers. Oh no! Bruh. Wow, uh... The rain really said fuck you to everybody's movement. Even Florina's having a tough time getting around. I guess we'll just inch forward. All we can do, really. What is it, Lynn? Look, the clouds are breaking. This rain should stop soon. 
if I remember correctly, this, uh, it's just going to keep repeating like this over and over, so... Alright. You're here to fight Lundgren, aren't you? Do you have enough weapons? Lundgren's no ordinary knight, he's a general. Iron weapons lack the edge to penetrate his armor. If you need something, visit my father's armory. You should go to the shop next door to his, too. They have many powerful weapons and items you can use against Lundgren. Head south and cross the river. You'll see them. Lundgren's a tricky one. He's destroyed the bridge. There's an old snag next to the river, though. If you knocked it over, you should be able to cross. Travel well. You fight for us all. The people of Kaelin love their Marcus. The rightful one, at least. <clears throat> okay, let's make tracks while we can. Just so I don't have to deal with you later. Uh, no, probably not. But maybe Will has a chance. Okay, keep rolling in, everyone. someone in need of healing. Two more heals for another level for Sarah. Kent, I'm not a traitor. Also, Kent, I'll do anything for you, Lynn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have feelings? Did you catch feels? Are you in your lover's era? <laughs> <laughs> no fair, Kent. I saw her first. I saw her first. Well. Oh, sucks to suck, huh? 
finders keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I just play by them. So, baby, what's your favorite Fire Emblem game? Uh, it would probably be Awakening. Poor K. Because that was the first Fire Emblem game I had ever played. Have you played any other Fire Emblem games? Yeah, I played uh, Shadows, um, I played uh, Fates, I played Three Houses, I played um, one or two of the earlier games, but I don't remember their names. Do you know who the main protagonists are? Of? The two earlier games? What did they look like? I think like? I'm a little too tired to be able to give you that yet. Oh. I like how I said, what do they look like? Even though every freaking protagonist has blue <laughs> hair. Because <laughs> that helps narrow it down. Like, male, blue hair. I'm like, oh my god. You know, uses a sword. <laughs> They're looking for the fire hunt with Roy? Okay. <laughs> Roy our boy! Roy our boy! Uh, you oh finally no. made it here, have you? Such a long way! I know, we played ten whole chapters. No, we haven't. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're gaslighting me. But not really, because yeah. I do believe you at the same time. <laughs> We're all behind Lady Lindis, all of us. Don't say something that disgusting in front of me again, ha <laughs> Here, take this. It's a peppermint I've been saving. <laughs> Use it in your battle against London, please. And overthrow evil usurpers on uh, without fresh bread. If you're going to kiss that Lindris girl, it's, <laughs> Lindris. An, it's an energy ring. I increase your strength and magic power a bit. There's are lots of items that uh um 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 augment augment your ability your your abilities. Sorry, a little slam in the back of the throat. These are hard to come by, so think carefully before you use them. Of course, not using them at all would be a terrible waste as well, right? You're giving me mixed signals here, lady. Yeah. Items like this might vanish once you use them. Now you're really giving me mixed signals. Bear that in mind and use them wisely. Panics, hoards them till the end of the game and doesn't <laughs> use them at all. It's the best way to use them. Yeah. Just save them for when you really can't win a battle without them. And if, uh, if that battle never comes, then... So much the better. That means you played the game right. Right? Slow blink. Panics. <laughs> Woo! Sarah's on par with everybody else. Aha, uh -huh, this is the tree they were talking about. The only way to the shops. Urk comes over. I'll burn it down! No, Urk, we, we need to create a path across the river, not burn the tree to nothing. I'll burn it down! Arson. Arson? Uh, I, you, I know you did not just perk up. <laughs> <laughs> No. What's in your Shows What's in your wing? No. What No. What's in your hands? Shows lighter. Takes lighter. Yeah. Hold that other lighter. There Takes lighter. Yeah, my fire. <laughs> you don't oh need fire. fire. <laughs> Hold on. You know what we haven't talked about yet during this walkthrough? What have we not talked about during this walkthrough? James? Ships and support conversations. Oh shit, we need to talk about that. Because, yes, there are supports and ships in this game. So, I'm 
I've been getting signals that you ship uh, Lynn with Kent. I will, before I play, oh, those cut. Uh, no, uh, this, is, oh, this okay. is the same line as before, it oh. just repeats. <laughs> right, Jinx? <laughs> oh. Right, Lynn. I know a lot of people ship Lynn and Hector. I, I know I know that's a popular one. Oh wow, everyone's level six, at least. Two, but I haven't played this game, so I'm not I'm not really sure. Mm. Couples I don't know, it's kinda weird. They're not no one's really given like romantic vibes. Hmm. So. Well this uh Lynn's story is uh, meant to be like a. You made me chuckle. What are you doing over there? Why are you chuckling, huh? <laughs> You're making her giggle. <laughs> Guest star, my sister. <laughs> She's busy giggling as she like takes her stuff and heads for the front room. Oh, do you? Is that what you're doing? Like, it's 11 o'clock. I'm surprised you're not suddenly back. Fair enough. Why? Okay. Who are your favorite support? Me? Yes, you. Uh, in this game, I definitely like Elowood and Ninian. Okay. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that wow, is not not probably one of the only rarely few canon couple in a Fire Emblem game. But that is the only one I can remember. It has been too long since I since I played this last. Roy or boy, Roy or boy. You know, you really should visit the armory next door. They've got all you need if you're fighting knights and generals. You need something to defeat Lundgren, right? Once he's been beaten, maybe peace will return to Kaelin. Maybe? Maybe? Good luck to you. No pressure. Lynn's story is meant to be more of a tutorial, and I, I don't think we can actually trigger supports yet, so... But once we start unlocking everyone's C levels, we may see, uh, be able to start seeing some romantic vibes developing between characters. Nope! Well, that was a productive battle. Sorry about that. Uh, Luke wanted to show me something, but she can't find her sketchbook. <laughs> Not the rain. Did you find it? Okay. No, Lynn can almost make it to the armory. Just a little further, Lynn. You can do it. Jump! Over. Uh, Amory. <laughs> so if I'm right, yes. Lynn 
can buy an armor slayer for herself. Oh shit. Her inventory is full. So we'll sell something we don't need. Like this old iron sword. Sounds good. Whoop. I can't buy the many caddy. Okay, now buy an armor slayer. Why not? Wouldn't you want to buy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sacred sword of the Sakai people. Why wouldn't you want to buy that? So if Lynn has an armor slayer, and I have two magic users, then I'm pretty confident I can deal with Lundgren. What do we have here? Ah, another heal staff. Oh, perfect. Hold on. I should, uh, I have limited inventory space, so I should probably do this a little bit more intelligently. Urk and Lucius down here. Urk can buy a Thunder, Lucius can buy another Lightning, Sarah can buy another Heal. And then everything will be as it should be. Okay, Sarah, buy a heal, and now you're in the way, so, yoink, Irk. buy a thunder, now you're in the way, yoink, Lucius over here with Niles. <gasps> no! He was so close. Lightning. We did great. Now, something specific I want to do is move Dorcas over and take out that general with the hammer. One shot. Okay, this is it. Time for the final battle with Lundgren. Who's going to win? We are, obviously. Obviously. Because we're that much superior. Believe in our superiority.
This is my realm. And you've entered without my permission. You will not leave these lands alive. Oh god, not the rain. I wonder how much Lin can wreck his shit in a single turn. Niles ends the chap uh, ends the uh, ends Lin's story at level six. Not bad at all. Armor Slayer. Oh dear. Probably going to have to soften him up with some magic first. Okay, so what I'll do is have Urk wait here so that he can attack Lindgren on the rebound without getting killed. And if I can get Lucius a little closer, that'd be great. All right. Yes, that's it. He's taken the bait. Oop, forgot about the rain. Okay, so if I move Lynn here. Have Niles play for her. Heal Urk and attack with him. Urk can reduce his HP down to three at best, and then Lin can deliver the final blow with the Armor Slayer. Yes, this should work. I can be flavorful and have her deliver the last blow with the Manny Caddy. She gets two chances even. Ooh. I think it'd be like very like justice. Mm -hmm. so the sword, you're... the sword you tried to steal. I want to slice you down with it, you motherfucker! Yeah. This sword belongs to all of Sake, but mostly me. So you're the girl claiming kinship with my brother. Well, actually, it's those two over there. <laughs> Points to to Kent and Zane. <laughs> but... uh, I, I don't know what she's talking about. You're a bunch of liars, but that's okay. We'll deal with you two after this. You'll play this... You'll play this farts to the end, won't you, Lindgren? Lundgren. Whatever your name is. <laughs> the royal house of Kaelin has no need of a Sakaian mongrel. I'll put an end to this foolishness here and now. To further your own black ambitions, you harmed my grandfather and the very land you ought to serve. I have neither pity nor mercy for you. Lindgren, prepare yourself. Welp! That'll do it. That annoying little girl. Nothing but a savage from Sakai. The Caitlin throne should be... 
Imagine getting your ass handed to you by a girl who has more confidence in that in that slit in her <laughs> skirt than you have in your whole armor. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting your shit wrecked with one blow. Then again, yeah. it is a very religious, powerful sword, so... Whew. All that's left is to seize the gate. Good job, everybody. Woo! Pack it up. We're going home. Hell yeah. And that's Fire Emblem Blazing Blade. Thank you, everyone, Woo! so much for coming by. And what? I'm kidding. We're not. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. You think they really made a Fire Emblem game in just ten chapters? Oh, you funny. We've won. At last, I can see my grandfather. You are Lady Lindis, are you not? Who are you? I am Riceman, the Chancellor of the Kaelin Royal Family. I had received word from Kent and Sane when you first met, but then Lundgren discovered the message and imprisoned me. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to your true home. Thank you. May I see my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Uh, do not be shocked by what you see. Lundgren has been poisoning the Marcus's meals for some time. And nobody thought to, oh, I don't know, stop him? His body has been ravaged. He's been bedridden for months. Oh god, do I have to voice both of them? Uh, Blue, can you take over Marcus, Kaelin? Little bat. Blue bat. Taps Mike. Mm. Hello, do you want me to be him? Yes, that's yep. what that's what we just asked, silly. <laughs> Who is that? Okay, can you act like you're like dying a little bit? <laughs> like you've been po there you go you, you've been poisoned come on you're not you're not uh, you're not resistant I said no visitors I will see no one oh okay well that just Aww. look at her that's the first time she's moved look at her you better fucking uh, forge right now to your goddamn granddaughter I'm gonna kick your sick poisoned ass <laughs> You apologize to her. <laughs> I demand oh, Lynn. justice for Lynn. Wondrous. Sad Lynn noises. What are you doing? <laughs> Leave me to die. Um, pardon me. My name is... I'm Lindris. Did, it? Did you say Lindris? Is that... My father's name was Hessar, chieftain of the Lorca. My mother was Madeline. I was raised on the plains. Could it be? Come, come here and let me see your face. <laughs> oh yes, there is no doubt. You are Madeline's true born child. Uh, Grandfather! Lundgren told me that my daughter had died. He is a liar and a snake. My anger, and you too. He told me you were dead. Well, that's half true. Thank you. Thank you for living. Oh, I am blessed. Mother and father were slain last year by barbarians. Right? Did I say that right? No. Oh well, it's too late. Keep oh, going. Fine. Keep reading. <laughs> it's fine. It's improv. I, I was the only survivor. I lived on, but. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> Lindus, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in perfect peace. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> old man, senile. Grandfather, my parents 
my tribe, our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly? Madeline had a life of happiness? Knowing that gives me so much joy. <laughs> Thank you, Lindus. I can die in peace now. Fuck no, you think your work's done here? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 man, Hana really said, get the fuck up, old man, you're fine. <laughs> no, Grandfather, you mustn't say that. There is no avoiding it, Lindus. I've taken too much poison for far too long. It's too late. Why is the fucking music change? What? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is the orchestra on the right page of the book? <laughs> the hell? Be brave, Grandfather. You will recover. Believe me. They do this shit with uh, Emeryn, too. On the plains, we say that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I am with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me. Yes! We have so much to talk about. Walks to take, music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you. So much lost time we can recover. That does sound nice. Doesn't it? And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky, the oceans of grass. If your oceans are made of grass, I think that's a problem. That Shut a up, Hana! Hana! <laughs> They're trying to have a fucking moment, okay? <laughs> it's bad <laughs> enough the orchestra changed, and they don't need- <laughs> they don't need your conductor side comments. <laughs> I want- I want you to know the lands my mother loved so much. The lands Madeline loved. You're right. I still have quite a bit of living to do. You can do it, I Grandfather. Lindis. <coughs> Lady Lindis. Do you honestly plan on remaining here? Tell me truly. Yes, until my grandfather is well. I can't leave him now, I won't. The physician says that Lord Housen looks like a new man. It's like he was never ill. And it's all thanks to you, my lady. He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. Lady Lindis. What is it, Florna? I've been taken into service by House Kaelin. From here on, Lynn, I met Lady Lindis. We'll be together always. Really? Oh, that pleases me so. But, please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lynn. My Pegasus and I fly for your house now. I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina! I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's more important than how I address you. Please. <sighs> I suppose I'll just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I do love you, Lynn. Oops, I mean, Lady Lindis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Florina. Lady Lindis, I've decided to stay too. Of course everyone decided to stay, because we need you for the actual game! Yay! Yay. You have an army! 
<laughs> Yay! Well, weren't you planning on returning home? Let me guess, money? Well, I, I was, but I've grown quite fond of Lindus' legions, you know. <clears throat> I couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. I am pleased to have you, Will. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. God, I'm a broke ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, you're leaving, aren't you? Yeah, you didn't need me anyway. It is fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna pack my shit. <laughs> lady Lindis, you don't give a fuck about me. You never give a fuck about me. I'm kidding. No, I, I'm, I'm not asking you to stay. Good, because uh -huh. I don't want to stay. I noticed you weren't asking. <laughs> it's just, I'll miss you. Don't try to guilt trip me now, Lynn. When I found you unconscious on the planes, like every fucking Fire Emblem game ever, I'll see this, I'll see this plot device later. <laughs> Fire really Emblem Awakening. <laughs> I really had the strongest <laughs> urge to tell you there's better places to take a nap than on the ground. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> I had no idea you would be together for so long. We would be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. I haven't learned <laughs> shit. <laughs> You'll do just fine on your own. I know I will. <laughs> I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master tactician, Jinx. Yeah, I will be. I want to be the best bun tactician you've ever seen. Yeah. The best bun that ever bunned. Yep. That's from someone who's seen you at work. Well then, take care. I, I hope to see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. In the next episode. <laughs> Kent, Knight of Lycia. For his bravery in fulfilling, fulfilling his command, Kent is named Knight Commander of Kaelin. It is a high honor for one so young, but no one denies his worth. Go ahead, Sane. Sane, Knight of Lycia. Or Lycia. Sane has earned the honor of being named sub-commander of the Kalen Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs at authority and woos the village girls. He is much loved by the citizenry. Florina, Pegasus Knight of Vila. Florina has been arranged to stay in Colleen. She spends her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become in invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only... Slightly. Will, Archer of Frey, with his cheery outlook and his happy-go-lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Marcus Kalen's household. Kent is teaching him manners befitting a sworn man of Castle Kalen. Dorcas. Dorcas sound like. <laughs> How yeah. do you not know your voices? <laughs> He never, he, 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 has he even said a word since we recruited him? <laughs> Dorcas, fighter of Burn. Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Kaelin, Dorcas returns to his home in Burn. There, he cares for his wife, Natalie, and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting the local bandits. Oh. Sarah, cleric of Osta. Alternately, Urk succeeds in seating Sarah safely to Osha. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Her absent her 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 what? <laughs> that word is acerbic. It, I'm I'm pretty sure it means something like acidic, sharp. Sharp tongue. Her loud mouth and tongue <laughs> has become legendary. <laughs> Urk, the wandering mage. His contract with Sarah complete, Urk sets off for Etruria. His time as a mercenary is just part of his training, and he is glad to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. Rath, the Sakean nomad. In the celebration following Glynn's return to Kellen, Rath slips out unseen. 
whether he has returned to the K or has continued to work as a mercenary, no one knows. Matthew, the enigmatic thief. Matthew vanishes after the final battle and his whereabouts remain a mystery. Niles, the mysterious musician. Niles and his sister Ninian take their leave of Castle Kaelin after a few days. He may well be traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere. Lucius, the traveling monk. Lucius studies in Kaelin for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been seen traveling with a hard-eyed mercenary. Wallace, the Kaelin general. Poor Wallace Slynn's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy of his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so it may be years before he returns. Jinx, the tactician! Jinx plans on traveling through Laika and continue her training. Lynn refuses to say goodbye. She knows in her heart that she will see her again. Wow, that's the first time someone actually used my pronouns! Lynn, the sword fighter from Saccade. Lynn now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Callan. Under her loving care, Lord Huston recovers, and now the two of them go for many walks in the Cullian Gardens. On clear, dry nights, Lynn can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Perhaps she is remembering the home of her youth, the plains of Saccade? We did it! Yay! <laughs> and Yay! we get to start our story. Yay! Good job, everyone. Superb voice acting. Woo! Superb voice acting! Sorry I was gone for most of the Lynn episodes. I've been a very busy little bat. Oh, it's okay, baby. School is important. Oh, goodness. Yes, well, let's, fun today. well let's not leave people waiting. Oh, we're gonna get right into it? Yep. Okay. Hard mode, go! Here ends Lynn's story. Would you like to save your progress? You bet I... Fucking would. Would you like to continue playing? Uh, yeah. As of chapter 11, Ellawood becomes the story's main character. Jinx's role will be to act as tactician, aiding his group. Help Ellawood to fulfill the chapter goals and fight his. Yes, I know how Fire Emblem works. <laughs> Don't insult me when I just played the, the, the prologue. And who knows, you might even meet Lin again. <gasps> oh. If any of these three is defeated, your game's over. Oh, I don't, I, I don't like that threat. Was that a threat? The game will continue if any other allied units are defeated. <laughs> However, a defeated unit can never take part in combat again. So be careful. Yeah, because he died. <laughs> yeah. Casual mode wasn't a thing back then. One, One year, year later. later. Oh, sorry. Ooh, Jinx! <laughs> <laughs> Once, Dragon fought man in a war called the Scouring. Mankind vanquished the dragons thanks to the efforts of eight heroes. Octopath Traveler! I'm kidding. <laughs> These eight mighty generals brought peace to Elibe. The continent was divided into nations and the people enjoyed an easy prosperity. The hero Hartmut settled in the east and founded Bern, famed for its military might. Saint Elimine moved west, and her sacred name flourished among the artisans of Etruria. The horseman Hanan's legacy lived on with the nomads of his beloved plains of Sakai. The birthplace of the knight Berrigan is now home to the renowned knights of Ilia. The berserker Durban's final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. 
the Archsage Athos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nabata. The heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. Elibe has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? Deep within the Lycian League lies Ferey, a land that has known no conflict for many generations, but which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. Its beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Elbert, has mysteriously vanished. As have a number of his sworn men, loyal knights who serve at his side. A month has passed without word from the Marcus. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marcus's son believes his father lives, and he has vowed to find him. Marcus Beret's son, Elliewood, a red-haired youth who will one day become the finest knight in all of Lycia. His long journey begins here. Can't have been any longer than that, than that introduction. <laughs> it was a recap Ch and introduction. <laughs> Chapter 11, Taking Leave. Okay, this must be Ella Wood's advisor, or like his, uh, his number one, his, his right hand. Or whatever a knight has as, like, that sort of person. Oh, it's Frederick. Is... Yeah, it's Frederick. I think his name is Marcus? Lord Ellawood, we leave on your word. <clears throat> I see. Thank you, Marcus. Mother, it's time for us to go. Ellawood? I promise that you will return to me safely. I'm worried about your father, but... If anything were to happen to you... My heart could not bear the sorrow. I know, Mother. Please do not worry. Father is alive. I know it. I vow that I will find him and return him to your side. I have your word, then. Yes, of course. Isadora! I entrust my mother to you in my absence. Ooh, baby. This one definitely. <clears throat> yes, my lord. I will guard over her well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. Well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord. My man Lowen will be traveling with us. Lowen? That's reassuring. I've sent him ahead to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are skilled at arms. Normally, I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but... I bow to your will on this matter, Lord Elliwood. I'm sorry, Marcus, but I would rather not deprive my mother of even a single guard. The best knights in the realm disappeared with my father. If anything were to happen to my mother while I am gone, I... I understand, my lord. <laughs> What's keeping Lowen? <coughs> we've heard... We've all heard that the knights of... What, what is it? For... 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 Foray. Foray, thank you. We've all heard that the knights of Foray have vanished, right? <laughs> well, your misfortune is my good luck. I have an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine! Okay. Gronzi is your new liege. Oh, hey, Lord Gronzi! Boo! <laughs> now, beat every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. 
Gallop, 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 gallop. Uh, who should be low end? <laughs> Commander, <laughs> Commander Marcus, I. You okay? Yeah, I'm wheezing. He's out of breath. Did you not see? Did you not see oh, the guy? Right. He just he just ran horseback. Oh right. Lowen, calm yourself. A knight must be in control at all times. Ooh, the village is under attack. And it's bandits. What? Bandits? Here? Are you sure, Lowen? Th this girl has some more details. Wait, what girl? Is that? It's Rebecca! <laughs> Howdy, my lord! I'm the daughter of the village, Manstrap. My name's Rebecca. The bandits came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you, please help us. I see. Marcus, Lowen, we must aid the village. <laughs> Whew. Y yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. If it pleases you, my lord, I would rather fight. I hunt almost every day, and I have some skills with a bow. Have you ever hunted people before? Uh, I hunted squirrels. You're hired. Oh, okay. Is that, is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. You got it, partner. <laughs> oh. L Lord Elliot, one more thing. There is another in the village who has offered to help. A, a traveling tactician who was staying at, at the inn. It's Jinx. A tactician? Yes, my lord. This is Jinx. Little bunny waves. <laughs> Jinx! Do you know this person, my lord? Yes, I met Jinx during the trouble in Kaylin last year. A fantastic military advisor, if memory serves. If not for Jinx, the Marquess of Kaylin and his granddaughter Lynn might not have survived Lundgren's uprising. What brings you to Ferret, my friend? Ha! <laughs> Still traveling about honing your skills. Of course, a worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. We have need of your aid. Please lend us your skill. Aha, uh -huh, I see they're going with the diamond back formation with the onesie twosie and the mountains. Yeah, pretty standard assault. Oh, right. We only have four people now. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the next part of the game. Hi. <laughs> Uh, no one's levels have carried over because no one who fought with us in the last episode is here. Well, yes, we best get to work. Yeah, why don't we, uh, Tag team this guy as best we can. Nice whiff. Experience for everybody. Except for Marcus, because he is already a promoted class, and if we let him fight, he will eat all of the experience right up. That's something you really have to watch out for in the older games. He's really strong and could probably wipe the floor with most of the enemies on this map, but if we do that, nobody else is going to get experience. That reminds me, though. Is this...? Yes. Okay, yeah. There is a way we can use him, though, still. Because he has such high defense, if I put him out front and give all his weapons to someone else... Then he'll just soak damage without actually stealing any experience. Oh? 
It's Dorcas. <laughs> Look, Dorcas, can you believe it? It's just like that knight said. That's Lord Elliewood. So it seems. What's he doing? Hey, he's taking on those bandits. Protecting innocents? That's a right lordy thing to do, isn't it? Right, Darkus? You talk too much. The Lordling needs our help. <laughs> right. <laughs> Leave these mountain weaklings to me. I'm Barrett the Brave. Ugh, flex. <laughs> flex. You gotta do the little uh, flex. Sorry. You gotta do the little flex. Yeah. Uh, Dorcas's level did carry over. Bartry is new. Marcus visit the village. Uh, Blue, you want to take this one? Is Lord Albert well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've heard nothing but foul rumors hereabouts. All of Ferrer is <laughs> is worried for his well-being. We hear tell that. Lord Elwood is going to try to find the Marquis. This Ryan Shield is our village treasure. It boosts the defended defenses of the one who uses it. Take it, please, and may it see you and Lord Elbert home safely. Ah, oh, my thanks. Got a dragon shield. Okay, how should we do this? Rebecca can attack safely from here. Soften you up a bit. Enough for Lord Ellawood <clears throat> and Lowen to move in for the kill. Oh! Critical hit. to work on you. And before the archer causes us any trouble. Bonk. Oh wow, Dorcas has a steel axe now. Not sure I want him eating up everyone's experience, though, either. So let me see if I can get away with... <coughs> Where are you? Where the fuck are you going? Around. He said, fuck this shit. This isn't worth my life. Oh, perfect. Hollywood left one HP on him. Rebecca, take the easy kill. Nim, 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 nim. got some skills with weapons, but do you understand weapon levels? The more you use a weapon, the more skilled you become. Still, you can only reach the highest level with a single weapon. Mm. But look at you, I think it'll be a while before that happens, am I right? <laughs> Come 
come get some. Have some more. I'll take all your experience. Okay, looking good, looking good. There's a young traveler been staying with the magistrate. He's been staying in the village for a few days now. I know you're thinking it's just another good-for-nothing courtier looking for a handout, but there's something more to this one. Those eyes, they miss nothing. Got a mission, that one has. First level up of the of the uh, story. Yay! Congratulations, Ellawood. Okay, what's left to do? Ah, uh, yes, visit the shop. I'll have Marcus do that. Maybe tank that damage. Next turn. Oh, never mind. They're coming to us. So, how many chapters is Ellie Wood? Is his story also 10, and then Hector's um, 10, or...? No, um... Both Ellie Wood's and Hector's are about 20 to 25. Oh, and, damn. Uh, yeah, and Hector's, Hector's story is basically Ellie Wood's story, but from a slightly different perspective. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, the, the maps are a little bit harder, and there's also, like, one or two extra paralogue chapters, which are, like, super hard. Hector is basically meant to be, like, ultra hard mode, if I recall correctly. Yeah, ultra hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, you just have a vulnerable. For... But we start with $10,000! Well, we are ri rich. We are we a are noble. The, yeah, I guess. There's no way I'm not stocking up on vulnerabilities while I can. Fuck that. Okay. Uh, I uh, really want to see if I can give Rebecca this kill. She needs one. I do want to protect Lowen, though. Can't take too many more hits there. There, now he's boxed in. Well, yeah. Lowen got the kill. Ah, yes. Come to Marcus and soak all your damage into him. Another productive battle. Okay, from behind the safety of Marcus, I bet Rebecca could do all kinds of damage. Slowly. Gradually. You just keep doing your best to chip away at this guy, I guess. The both of you. Yeah. They'll be at that for a while.
Okay, here. You take this vulnerary, give it to Loen. You heal yourself, please. Now that's teamwork. Exciting gameplay. Pixelated characters fighting. Oh wait, maybe we can uh, speed this up by a turn now. Ah, I boxed myself in. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Or rather, yeah. Let's try this. No, you weren't supposed to critical hit. Okay, low and it is. Well, why not? Because I want Rebecca to get the finishing blow, because that's worth more experience. And oh, she's fair, still a... fair enough. Yeah, she's she's the only one still stuck at level one. There we go. Okay, I'm happy now. Crit whoever you want, Elwood. Hmm, okay, guess he's not feeling it today. Not this time. How about it, Bartree? Bonk. Okay, doing well, doing well. Ow, my knee. You know, for this being an old, an older game, this is very, yeah. very smooth. Like, I'm still, like, amazed with, like, the pixelated portraits. Oh, yeah. I you still seen, see uh... that they kept the nubs. <laughs> mm -hmm. The nubbies. Oh, uh, no, the, the, they have their exploitable flaws like any game, but uh, as long as you're not specifically looking for them, it's very well put together. No, it's good. It, you know, it, it is what it is. You can't really judge a game on today's gaming standards compared to uh, when it was made. Oh, absolutely. But it is, it is a very smooth gameplay experience, absolutely. The, the UI is very responsive. You can just work the buttons in the map really quickly if you have a good idea of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I think this was you. Oh yes, Gr Gronzi the Great. <laughs> What's this, a pack of children coming to play? Oh, those be fine in words. Mm -hmm. You think you can challenge me? What? Oh god, I can never pit for for Ray, for Ray and for for Ray, for Ray and Knights. But that's impossible. That does not look like for Ray. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's a they like their weird words. Kick his ass, Hollywood. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. 
Rebecca can help. Maybe. Uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble. You know what? We'll do it like this. Go, no harm, no foul. Ugh, I thought my luck was finally turning around. Good night. Della Woods level three. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Ugh. You would be Lord Ellerwood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming to the aid of our fair village. Think nothing of it. It's a lord's duty to protect the citizenry. Would that were true, my lord. The good folk of Laos know no such protection. The Marcus Lord Darren is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all complaints of bandits and thieves. Preparing for war? Are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Laos until a few days ago. His home was torched and he had no choice but to flee here. According to him, Laos could go to war any day now. It's all the people of Laos are talking about. Lord Ellerwood, if this is true, the situation is a grave one. If Marcus Laos is readying for war, his target is most likely another Lycian territory. Perhaps this is connected to Lord Elbert's disappearance. My father and Marcus Laos? It seems a tenuous connection, but it is, it's as good a start as any. Let us travel to Laos. We must learn more. Thank you for your guidance, Jinx. You're Where welcome. Are you bound? <laughs> Where are you bound for next? The carrot patch. I do my the best strategies there. The carrot patch? I'm not sure where that is. It's right there. Oh, but... Where are you going to go after that, then? I don't know. I'll cross yeah. that bridge when I get there. <laughs> If you have no destination in mind, uh, perhaps you could travel with us? Oh! Ours is a small group with a single purpose, to find my father. Well, considering you're addressing me better than Linda, sure! <laughs> I do not know where our road will lead, but we would be stronger with you in our company. You will travel with us? Splendid! Thank you. I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. I mean, or we could always just turn off the game. Yep. Puts down game. <laughs> Rebecca, where do you think you're going, young lady? Oh, howdy, Pa. I, I, I intend to accompany Lord Elliewood. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Ellerwood is not going on a picnic. He's riding into danger. I know that, Pa. That's why I want to go. We owe him our lives, and I want to repay him. My bow may not be all that much, but I know I can be of service. But... Ah, oh, Pa. I may meet up with my brother somewhere. You're the Maastricht. You have responsibilities. Uh, this is all I can offer. I need to do this. Please, Pa, let me go. Dear me, you're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, Pa. You must bow to Lord Ellerwood's wishes on this matter. If he consents, you may go. Thank you, Pa. 
Lord Albert has always been kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Rebecca. Serve Lord Ellerwood well as I have served his father. I will, Pa. I will. Well, I'll Ooh. be as sunny as a side of eggs on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm coming, Lord Ellerwood. And with that being said, that oh. is going to oh, that oh. is going to conclude episode four of Fire Emblem: The Blazing Blade. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming by and uh, watching us finish Lynn's story and getting a chapter of Ellie Woods out. So now that we're traveling with Ellie Wood, it seems like we got some new faces and some old faces. So I wonder who who we're going to meet along the way. As always, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, and evening whenever you are watching this. And as always, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Goodbye!